And it's a, it's a. Who are you? It's, it's one of those movies <laughs> where it is, you know, a b ball in somebody's mouth. Hi, I'm Whitney Abel. <laughs> and I'm Nick Basile. <laughs> and we're, uh, we're here to represent uh, the movie Dark, which uh, I directed. And uh, Whitney, uh, that Whitney, the one without the beard, uh, stars in. It's a psychological thriller um, in the vein of movies like uh, Repulsion or Hitchcock. And it's set during the 2003 blackout in New York City in uh, August 14th. And it's, uh, it's a thriller that starts about um, a woman played by Whitney and uh, starts to slowly lose her mind as uh, darkness falls over the city. Uh, and uh, it goes on from there. So there'll be surprises. Okay, and here's the host of the show, which is the bubblegum machine, but it does not have bubblegum in it. What is in it are a number of questions that unforeseen people are asking of us. So we're going to find out. Ah, and here, and there goes... There goes the uh, $65,000 question. All right, so here we are. Yeah, yeah, you can do the like Vanna White, you know. Like, oh, you know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what would be the best reaction to dark you can think of? Want me to answer that? Ah, that's a, that's a, that's a hard question to answer. You know what? Anything that you don't want to get up and leave or fall asleep is always a good movie. I have to say that. So the best reaction to Dark, I would say, would be um, that it moves you in some way. That, uh, that you become interested in the characters and what's going to happen to them. And that you become emotionally involved in the picture. And emotionally involved in what's happening to Whitney. And I will hand the ball to Whitney. When you do a new movie, is it still like the first time? Ah. Well, in this case for me, and then I'm let Whitney answer this, um, the other, this is my first narrative feature, so I made a feature uh, documentary before this and then shorts. So for this, uh, it was definitely a first time. Now for Whitney, who has done a number of movies, uh, what's your answer to this? Uh, no, it's, it's, it's never like the first time. I, I think every experience is different and unique, and this was a really special film for me. Um, it, it's... Uh, it's kind of different requirements every time out, right? It's different requirements every time, but, but this was a very special film uh, to make, and it took us a long time to get to the point uh, where we were actually making the film, and so there was a lot of anticipation uh, to, to make the film and, and um, it, was, it was a very special experience and I'm just excited to share it with the world. Cool. All right, next question. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so the question is here. What is your first impression of Oldenburg and the film festival? It's very German. <laughs> Um, this is my second time to be at Oldenburg and um, I was so excited to get to come back because it's a lovely city and uh, I am, I'm also really appreciative of their film selection and um, yeah, I just, I, I hope I get to come back again. And uh, very nice and enthusiastic people who love cinema. That's the other thing I get from Oldenburg. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, is there a surprise in here? It looks like we've got something in there. What? And there he goes. And what do you got? Is it a condom? <laughs> 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 um, uh, maybe I can grab the next 
question with it. <laughs> when I had a brain aneurysm, and uh, you see, I, w I watched so many films at the Oldenburg <laughs> Film Festival that my brain started to melt and come out of my nose, you know. But um, it's probably better that I do this than Whitney. Okay. Oh, God. Well. It is another goober. This is an interesting question. <laughs> give, give us your best fake sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a, it's a. For you. It's, it's one of those movies <laughs> where it is, you know, a ball in somebody's mouth. So the question is, does a low budget raise your creativity or does it just suck? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it's a little bit of both because uh, it forces you to be creative, so that's a good thing. You uh, start out, you know, uh, with a script, and you have to start to factor in what is the budget of this picture gonna be. But what happens is, as you uh, start to become clever and you get a bunch of people around you, like Whitney, like the crew that we have, who know how to do a lot with, a lot, uh, with very little, it forces you to come up with uh, creative decisions to make a film seem like it has a much bigger budget than it actually does. And when creating the 2003 blackout, which was the biggest blackout in North American history, uh, we had to do that. And uh, hopefully when you see the film, you can tell us if you uh, think we successfully convinced you that the entire New York City um, skyline was blacked out. If you could name one director or actress who influenced you most, who would it be and why? I guess for me, I guess to answer the director part, um, I would say uh, in no specific order, my top five favorite uh, film directors would be um, Alfred Hitchcock, Steven Spielberg, Stanley Kubrick, Martin Scorsese, and Ingmar Bergman. And um, all of them, to me, uh, kind of represent a, a different style, a different um, sort of vision. And what about you for actress? Uh, I would definitely say Jenna Rollins. Um, and side note, her relationship with John Cassavetes, what a beautiful thing to be able to make movies with your husband. Um, and uh, and um, Catherine Deneuve, um, uh, those, those are probably my top two. Yeah. 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 I'd like to know what kind of cinematic effects you used to create the dark atmosphere in addition to the light. Hi, Marika. Uh, the answer to your question is as far as uh, creating a weighty atmosphere besides, um, the wonderful lighting of our cinematographer Trent Ermis. Um, or lack thereof. In the <laughs> or in the dark, right. Um, to me, a lot has to do with uh, sound design, which to me, um, I always start thinking about even in the script writing process. And uh, especially with a film that relies on atmosphere, uh, sound, and also the use of music, music as sound and sound as music sometimes, um, I think adds to that. But most importantly, I, it's also performance. Um, if the performer believes they're in a threatening situation, then the audience will believe it. You could only feel uh, the weight of an atmosphere if the performers are delivering that. And uh, I had a, a, a bonus for my performance and my homework before we started shooting. I, I actually was there in 2003 for the blackouts in New York City, so, um, so I definitely used that in my performance. So. Thank you guys, and we hope to see you uh, come to see the film Dark, and to sit in the dark with uh, Whitney and I and the other actors. Um, and uh, yeah, and I hope you uh, enjoy the show. See you soon.